Hi guys, my name is Roger. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to improve this unit, the Roland A80 MIDI controller from 9089. I'm going to change the display and I'm also going to adjust the aftertouch because the aftertouch on this machine is not that good. It does have aftertouch, but it works well. You have to be a Hulk to even get a little bit of aftertouch. And I found online how to change that. So we do display changement and we are going to solder. We are going to change a small, a very small resistor R43 to get excellent aftertouch. Curious how it works? Let's go. So as you can see, my screen is broken. The LCD does not work anymore and I have some black parts on it. So I ordered a new screen on synth parts. It arrived very well packed and with good explanation about how to remove the old one and to install the new screen. And as you can see, a very nice blue screen, which is going to be installed into the A80. First, some basic preparation. Of course, detaching all the cables, also power. And to open the A80, you have to be on the bottom of it. So this thing is huge and heavy. Make sure you have some foam to prevent damage. And I want to thank protocolsounds.com for this picture of where the screws are located to remove them and to open the A80. They also have on their website how to change the resistor for improving aftertouch. And because of that, I decided to grab this video. So when all screws are removed, you can turn it around and then you are able to open up the A80. You see over here a copper slab, remove the screws also because you have to be on the back of it you can remove one screw to lift the first part and then you have already access to the display the display is connected or tightened with four screws and what I always do is I mark with a pen or a marker all cables in which direction they are connected. So as you can see removing is very easy. This is the old screen and this is the new screen. I also received plastic washers for attaching the new display, which I used of course. I'm now putting it all back just to test the screen. I close the A80 and attach the power cable to do a test to see if it's working. And yes, a nice blue screen and also the contrast knob is working. Very cool. So now it's just a matter of attaching for real the display and removing the plastic from the screen.
Now you have to remove the power supply of the LCD screen. The manual of synth parts is very good and you have to remove two small parts from the power supply. It's a kind of tricky but it's eventually very easy. So let's see the result of the new display. Wow, look at that blue screen. Oh my God, it's, it's amazing, super cool. Now something more difficult, we are going to improve the aftertouch. So we have to search for R43, resistor R43, over there. This resistor is placed on the left board when you open your A80 up. You will see it over here when I point at it, there. I always mark the cables for detaching and later on attaching to make sure that they are right positions. There is a ribbon cable on the left and it has a clamp. You have first detach the clamp to remove the ribbon cable. The rest of the connectors are very easy to loosen. A total of six screws have to be removed to take out the complete board. Detaching the last cables and I use a small screwdriver to prevent breaking any capacitors. Just slowly wiggling and they come loose. And then the board is loose. So this is the wrong resistor and we have to remove it, R43 and we are going to replace it for resistor 51k and I bought it for 1 euro. So I show you here how I removed it and how I installed it. There are online a lot of videos about doing this kind of things. Most important thing is to have patience and to do it right. Don't rush, take it easy. It can be done because I'm not, I'm, I'm not skilled to do this, but I, I dared it and I thought, yeah, let me do it. But patience is the most important thing. Of course, when replacing is done, I put the board back, cables reconnected, and of course, completely installed again. So let's check the end result.
what an amazing result guys thank you for watching see you next time and i tell you you can do it too you can do it too okay see you bye bye